President Morsi stressed um, very emphatically several dozen times through his speech that he was the legitimate leader of Egypt. He was democratically elected. What is the U.S. position on that? Well, that he was democratically elected. Uh, we are not taking sides uh, in this case, as you know, because we've talked about quite a bit. Uh, and we have been very clear. The president has been. The secretary has been. Uh, I think I was clear in my comments as well today that there's more that he needs to do. Uh, democracy is not just about being elected through the ballot box. It's also about allowing uh, the voices of the people in your country to be heard, um, taking steps to work with all sides. Uh, and those are steps that we have not yet seen. So does he, does he have the right to stand behind that legit legitimacy if those steps are not taken? Uh, well, again, I think we've called for those steps. We are hopeful he'll take those steps. And uh, he was the democratically elected uh, president, um, but we've, we've clearly called for him to do more. Sorry. Is there a reason that you're using the past tense? He was the democratically elected well, president? Well, he was elected. He was not elected. He's not going. He's was as far as you're concerned, he ago. still is the democratically yeah. elected but, president. Yes. So if um, if the steps are not met, is is uh, does the military have the legitimacy to remove him? Again, we're not taking sides in this. This is for the Egyptian people uh, and all sides to uh, work through together. And we're hopeful that uh, they can come to a political resolution. Mm -hmm. You say that you're, you've said over and over again, over again that you're not taking sides. Yet, <clears throat> you believe that at least some of the grievances that the protesters have are legitimate and should be addressed, correct? Yes. Okay. You also believe, or you also told President Morsi, not you personally, but this government has told from the president and others, that he needs to take steps to address those legitimate mm -hmm. grievances. And in his speech last night, you said that there was an absence of any significant specific steps and that it was unfort unfortunate that that was the case. So you're disappointed in that. Yes. You have not taken or condemned the military's ultimatum to the president, correct? Correct. So how, how are you able to say that you're not taking sides? Well, uh, Seems pretty clear that you are on the side of the military and the protesters here and not on the side of the president. It's never been, Matt, I know we talked about this yesterday, about any one individual. Uh, this is a case where all sides need to work together and work through the challenges, the issues they have uh, with each other. It's not our job to, or our role, or the proper role of the United States to determine the next steps, and, and we're not going to do that.